हे गाइस एंड वेलकम बैक टू प्रिंटर्स दिस इज रिद्धि एंड इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी विल बी स्टार्टिंग दैट हाउ टू पास कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क्स इन वन टू टू डेज बिकॉज एज यू ऑल नो द यूनिवर्सिटी टाइम टेबल हैज ओनली वन डे गैप सो वॉट वी हैव डन फॉर यू इज वी हैव डिवाइडेड द एंटायर सिलेबस इन टू फोर डिफरेंट सेक्शन विच विल कवर ऑल द इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन ऑफ कंप्यूटर नेटवर्कस एंड एज यू नो दैट कंप्यूटर नेटवर्कस इज बेसिकली अ थ्योरी सब्जेक्ट दैट कंसिस्ट ऑफ ऑल द कंप्यूटर नेटवर्किंग प्रॉब्लम्स हेडर फॉर्मैट्स प्रोटोकॉल्स एक्सेट्रा सो दिस सब्जेक्ट इज रियली स्कोरिंग सब्जेक्ट सो इफ यू ट्राई एंड कवर ऑल द इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन दैट वी गिव यू यू श्योरली स्कोर मोर देन सिक्सटी इन दिस सब्जेक्ट ओके सो वी हैव डिवाइडेड द टोटल इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन इन टू फोर स्लॉट्स दैट यू हैव टू कवर एंड द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन फॉर द स्लॉट वन इज डिस्क्राइब आई पी वी फॉर फॉर्मैट विथ डायग्राम ओके सो दिस क्वेश्चन कैन कम फॉर फाइव टू टेन मार्क्स इफ इट कम्स फॉर फाइव मार्क्स यू जस्ट हैव टू ड्रॉ द हेड ऑफ फॉर्मैट डायग्राम एंड गिव अ स्मॉल introduction or meaning to it and if it comes for 10 mark you will be have to explain each and every element of the header in detail so that the examiner can understand as a proper perspective of the question okay in the second uh, the second question is explain different framing methods and advantage of variable length frame over fixed layer frame this can come for 5 to 10 marks okay so framing method is a really easy topic which you can you know easily understand so this question is also important the third one is congestion control and explain leaky bucket algorithm okay so congestion control is a really like easy topic wherein only two algorithms are present one is leaky bucket and other is token bucket so if you cover both of these you can easily score very nice marks in this question okay and fourth question is csma cd protocol explain how collisions are handled in csma cd and this question is also really easy it's it's purely theory question so if you read it once or you know twice you'll easily understand the concept and later on you can write it in your paper so all the questions that we have covered till now are really easy and you can score really nice and the last question for the slot 1 is explain distance vector ro- ro- routing protocol what is the kant to infinity problem how to overcome it this question can come for 5 to 10 marks mostly it comes for 5 marks in the question 1 but you know to be on a safer side you go into detail and learn all these questions okay so we are done with slot 1 for the slot 2 the first question is short note on arp rrp icmp smtp distance vector routing algorithm inter networking devices okay so these like these five questions can be expected in either question number 1 or question number 6 wherein you will be getting these questions for 5 5 marks and later on you will have to explain so as you all know arp and rrp are the protocols icmp is protocol wherein you will have to give the examiner or diagram and later on explain all the pro- like the header formats and etc etc in it smtp is the question wherein you will have to briefly explain what smtp is and distance vector routing algorithm we have covered above and inter networking devices is also an important question but it is easy like you can easily understand the next question for slot 2 is what is topology explain different types of topology with diagram advantages and disadvantages so topology are mainly star ring etc etc so you can like study it nicely and it can come for 5 to 10 marks next question is what is traffic shaping explain leaky bucket algorithm compare it with token bucket algorithm so once you're done with congestion control jump on to traffic shaping and then you can easily write the difference between leaky bucket and token bucket so even if you study the leaky bucket you know in detail and token bucket in detail you will be understanding the difference between and then you can compare it on your own like that next is icmp that we have already covered so you'll have to give the header format and then later on explain okay the last question for slot 2 is write a program for client side server application using socket programming that is udp and it can come for 5 to 10 marks so these two slots are really important for you if you want to you know pass or you know just clear the subject but as cn is a really you know scoring subject i'll suggest you that you know you go through all these 20 question so that you can you know easily get 60 plus because scoring 60 plus in cn is really easy task the next question for slot 3 uh, is compare open loop congestion with 
closed loop congestion okay so even if you study open loop congestion and closed loop congestion in detail different answers then also you can compare and this way you can cover three question that is describe open loop congestion describe closed loop congestion and compare open loop congestion with closed loop congestion next question is explain the use of tcp timer in detail describe tcp header with diagram okay so whenever the diagrams come into picture you will be having to explain the diagram wherein you will draw a neat labeled diagram make it big so that the examiner can easily identify what have you written in it the labelings etc etc so make it really nicely and then later on you know take small sections and give a brief on it the next question for slot 3 is differentiate between congestion oriented and connection less services okay i repeat differentiate between connection oriented and connection less services okay and uh, the next question is explain in short different framing methods the framing question we have covered above so if you do that you're done with this answer also the last question for slot 3 is explain the different subnet mask in subnetting okay so this can also come for 5 to 10 marks and the last slot first question is list the advantages of fiber optics as a communication medium this can come for 5 to 10 marks explain design issues of layers explain iso osi reference model with diagram okay so here you will be have to draw the osi reference model that will cover seven layers and then explain each layer in detail and later on design issues of the layer you can explain next question is write the diagram the relationship between protocol interface and services this can come for 5 to 10 marks next question is repeater hub bridge switch gateway see this question you have done into networking devices also so you can you know refer these two question and complete the part this questions come for mostly 5 marks like explain repeater Ex- that will come for 5 marks so that way you can answer all these and they have the specific diagrams also so if you draw diagrams the examiner will you know be impressed and can fetch you more marks and the last question in computer networks is classify transmission media and compare it okay so these 20 questions are really important for you to you know score nice in this subject and even if you do all these 20 questions you can surely score 55 plus marks and if you want to score more than that i'll like suggest you to go and see the brain eater service uh, brain heaters materials that we have provided to you on the website which will have brain eaters question paper brain eaters question banks and brain eaters blueprints in question papers we have highlighted all those important and repeated questions in different color schemes so that you can understand which question is the most important and you need to brush up on it very nicely in brain eaters question bank we have you know made the module wise bifurcation of the important questions so even if you refer that once you'll be getting an idea that which question is important and in blueprints it is estimated that you know this module can come in this question so accordingly you can you know judge out your paper on that if you cover all these steps we assure you you that you will be scoring more than 60 okay so study smart and we have only one to two days gap so you prepare you know earlier so that